good morning. And let's try this again. Um, XSplit has been having some issues connecting to Twitch. I think Twitch um, switched their servers and now XSplit doesn't know what it's supposed to be connecting to um, properly. Um, so I set it up for an automatic server selection and let's see if that works better. Um, let's bring up my cam so you can see me talking. Well, apparently we have a new splash screen that I haven't updated the stream to cover. There we go, close enough. Um, how is everybody doing this morning? Been a lot of back-end work, wiki work going on. Uh, let's go boom, 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 boom. Um, the reason that DDO Wiki Talk has been not active the last few weeks is I've been doing a lot of back-end stuff. So I didn't have a lot of stuff to show you for you to be able to contribute and participate and work on. Um, I figured I'd take a couple weeks off, give everybody a break. I was feeling kind of burnt out on Wiki Talk. I'm not sure I'm completely over that, but at least I have something to show you that new newer editors can do. Um, so let's hop on over to the wiki and see what we got to work with. Um, you can also check out the, um, if you want to keep up to date on everything, you can check out the Discord channel. Um, Discord.me slash DDLWiki. <clears throat> There's a lot of discussion that goes on there about how to change this template or what to do with that or whatever. Um, you can also check out the POI board on um, the wiki itself. The administrator's notice board points of interest. Um, let me get rid of my big mug and splash screen. And there we go. So we get their homepage here. Um, you can see that update 32 has gone live. We got that in there already. I think I might pick a different background there for that because um, that one you can't see very well. Find one with a <coughs> solid background. Um. <coughs> Not a lot changes on the home page usually. Just about time for this to go away completely. Our 10th anniversary prize. It's almost been a year. Um, might make that disappear in another week or two. Um, head over to the recent changes here. It's been quite a few weeks since last time we were on. Let's go with the last 30 days of recent changes and take a quicker summary look through it because I don't remember everything that's been done, even though I did a good majority of it. <clears throat> Alrighty, all loaded up here. Scroll to the bottom. I did some work on the double redirect. Ah, I, I tried to do some work on the double redirect fixer. Um, if no re no results are found, offer links to a few other places like recent changes, special pages, that kind of thing. Um, it didn't work. I ended up having to revert that edit until I have time to go back and actually work on it some more. Um, I did a requested merges category which was added to our notice board request page. Did a lot of work on that. This actually only goes back to September 20th, so this is even still just a week, even though I have it set for 30 days. Uh, there's been so much editing going on that that's a thousand changes. Let's change that to 500 real quick, and then I'll bump it up to 5,000. Max. Let that reload real quick. Oh, 
I see the Facebook pages for DD Wiki and Lotra Wiki have a couple new views. The Lotra Wiki people and I haven't been getting along very well. But. Max didn't work. Just gave me zero. Let's hit 5,000. <clears> While that's loading, let's go over here to requests. We have a backlog of requests for page deletion, three pages and 16 files. Here's the pages, there's the files. Um, I personally see no reason to delete any of the images as they all have served a purpose and could be made use of. For example, they are the um, <coughs> in-game selection buttons. Um, I might actually have use for that in the future. So I've opposed, I should actually add that in there. We have new templates for oppose and support. Need the no wikis. I do want this. Good morning, Amref. There, now that's clear at least. Looks like our recent changes has loaded up. Uh, before we get to that though, we have requests for page merges, where you find two pages, or three pages, or ten pages that you think should be merged in together. Um, on the so if page merges request will show up here. If you wish to nominate a page should be merged, place merge, sub, sub subs revision user two and then the name of the page that you want to merge it into on the page to be merged and merge revision user from on the destination page if there are multiple pages to be merged into one you can use merge revision user from um, from one equals page, from two equals page two, from three equals page three, so on and so forth, to list all of the pages that you think should be merged into it. Make sure that you add the talk page of the destination to your watch list as well, as any objections to merging will be raised on the talk page for the des destination's talk page and will need discussion. So the, all of these old servers 
And on Kyber, there was actually a lore page and a server page. So I'm suggesting merging those servers into the base page name because they're all really short. Most of them are stubs. So in order to destubify and make them useful, I'm requesting, suggesting that they should be merged if there's no objections. Um, I should actually update that to put a date and put a deadline in there. If there's no objections by 30 days or seven days or whatever, then go ahead and do it. <clears throat> but for now, that was just something I set up and I wanted to leave it for now. Like I've only got a couple of viewers this morning. Um, looks like Lamania server to Lamania has some discussion on the page. It might not be related to this. I did want to add more stuff to make the discuss link go directly to the discussion if one existed. Or if there isn't a talk page, like this one page doesn't exist, then have it create a discussion section. And then the requesting user, all me at the moment. Um, but let's see what this discussion is, if there is any. Okay, so it's just something from 2012 where I reverted blacksmith's edits because it's not about the page. The page isn't about the server back then. It's been four years since then. Um, I'm suggesting that the lore and the server page be merged together. That one might actually be objected to because there's actually enough stuff on the server page to not merge them. Um, but we'll see. Nobody objects, and I'm going to do it anyway. So here's our recent changes. Uh, how far back do we go now? September 1st, so that's not too, too bad. erlock has been doing a lot of, uh, most of this stuff is all um, update 32 stuff. Talk compass, um, item talk carnifex. All right, so I have to go back further in order to see that stuff. Um, I can't go back further. Okay, so I'm sure I got more of it in there. Um, I added some gadgets. So we should take a look at that. Take a look at gadgets in a minute. All right. Um, I added vector menu. That's a new gadget. I'll show what that does in a minute. I don't think I actually even have it enabled on this account because I wanted to show it off so people can see what it does. It's basically something that I copied over from Wikipedia that I helped work on the original, and then I completely modified it and dumped half of it to work on um, DDL Wiki. I still want some. I still have some stuff that I want to add back to it, but it's not ready yet. A lot of talk page stuff. There's a lot of stuff on the page. It's a long page. That's why the Got the little spinny icon there on my mouse all the time. Uh, a lot of habitat stuff that I was working on as part of Template Monster, which Template Monster was actually used to be Template Infobox Monster, but I moved it to Monster because it's a easier thing to remember, and I'm getting old and can't remember stuff as well anymore. And I also did some major modifications to it, and I have some more in mind. But I haven't gotten to it yet. I want to complete the updates on that stuff first. Let's see here. Item pages, banishing, T enchantment. New parameter added there by JJ. <clears throat> Moves and deletions. Some history merging. Oh, critical hit talk page.
still having a lot of spam accounts being created, but um, <coughs> they're not editing, so I'm not going to worry about them too much. Um, I did do some stuff to our, our DD store sales page. I added some new, a new template for that, uh, history row. So that archive links could be added and all kinds of good stuff. A lot of history stuff I updated. I've been going through, I added, um, some stuff to the sidebar as well. See statements requiring verification. Looks like JJ finally made that category, even though it was something Aggie set up and never finished. Umber Hulk race monsters, that's good. Move log. Set file extension typos. They should not be JPEGs. They should be JPGs. <clears throat> Template verify. Added a parameter one to it so you can add text to it. Um, vector menu modifications. <clears throat> JJ did some stuff to his common JS. Monsters by Quest. Part of the um, the update to um, the the monster template is <clears throat> there are now multiple habitat parameters, which I will show you shortly. Which is one of the big things that I would like people to work on um, when they have free time. It takes two minutes to update a monster, in, less than two minutes to update a monster entry, and you're on your way. Um, so. If you want to update this one or that one that you find that looks a lot of them will look broken there's over a thousand that still look broken out of three thousand we've been hacking away at it but there's a lot to go um <clears throat> part of that is you put in each location that you can find them in its own habitat parameter and now we can create a um I'm going to do some updates to the quest page to do a DPL query to get all of the monsters from that category and pull some statistics about each monster if it's available. Um, a lot of stuff going on. I added a template for comparing pages. Um, so you could do a compare pages. I did some edits to template pick pages and category. Show those off real quick. New stuff. Uh, user talk DDO stream. I guess we should look at that. Um, some HTML5 CSS stuff updates. Um, template unsigned had a couple changes. So it's substitution friendly and uses dashes. Um, talk update 32 ingredients for, I'm guessing, Slave Lord stuff. I should probably rename that template into Slave Lord ingredient or something. Or actually, it should be merged just into ingredients. Uh, but I'm going to have to do some work on that. Somebody's been working on the bonus days page. In development's had some heavy hitting, some heavy work. I created a, a help page for pipe links. Um, template monster, that's one I wanted to bring up. Subtext. I don't remember what I changed there. Forums. Ah! I created a to-do section on the forums. It should actually be moved to the talk page. Alright. Template deprecated. I made some changes there, I guess. Template stub had some changes. Ah! Um, template stub used to have a whole bunch of sub-templates, and I merged them all into template stub and said, don't use the sub-templates anymore. That's probably what the changes to um, deprecated were. Um, like
like stub basic. Don't use it anymore. Deprecated. Um, let's see here. Template enchantment had some changes. I should look at that. Template spell lore repost. Those have been worked on by people. 11th anniversary talk page. That's already in there for an upcoming event. Down for a second. What, what do I have to? September 6th. Got a long ways to go. Um, template YouTube got some changes. What were they? So centering. So it's just a, a centering thing on that. Help images got some changes. Items and ah, so see deprecation replace stub basic with stub basic, replacing the slash with a pipe. Bonus days, talk page for bonus days, lots of file changes. Stubs should look like a stub, so I deleted a bunch of stuff so that it would show up with the stub color and put the little S on it on the home page. Twitter feed's got some changes. I found that the Twitter widget, um, the existing stuff using the Twitter widget still works fine. However, Twitter's no longer offering the ID. There's, I, I've created an API account and everything, and there's no way to get the old IDs that are used for the Twitter widget. So I'm going to have to completely rebuild the Twitter widget. And um, that's going to take me some work before people can add their add new Twitter feeds to the to the wiki. Um, but that's a different different topic for a different day. That's back end stuff that's gonna be extremely complicated I'll have to work on. Uh, I, I had actually forgotten about it. It was on my to-do list. I have a really big to-do list. Um, added Wicked. Did some changes to the way that things show up on the definition page. Added some stuff to the title blacklist, which isn't working. Um, template in group, I added administrator as options for sysop. Template discord. Look at that. Um, title blacklist for bid new account. I don't know if it's catching any or not, but if you create, if you try to create an account name that matches one of the blocked account names, like capital letter, lowercase word, capital letter, lowercase word, set of numbers, which is a typical spam account, um, then it will bring up that page. Username policy, policy got some work, which is needing discussion. Um, good morning. Krunicia? 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 I don't know. Krunicia? Stuck and moved. Got protected. Stuck and deleted. The call got the call and come with minor changes. Ah, use new on Wikipedia template. Ajax rollback. Oh, I should look at that. Maybe we should put that in as uh, We got name shields, phantom name shields by type, which was requested on Discord by somebody. Name shields by category. Um, pattern, item confirmed, weapon confirmed, changes by Yoko, Silver Weaven, finally created an account. He sent me a crust on the forums to ask for a gray background over pure white. So this is no longer pure white for him when he logs in. It's a grayish color. I did some common JS changes I should look at, show off, because I don't remember what they were. A lot of files, categories, 
Category creation is good. I'm glad I got done. Files with extension JPEG needing to be moved. That's a project people can work on. Welcome to a new user. Kenneth Crafting Tables in development has had a lot of changes. Uh, edit tools, definition, some changes there. Hotcat added. Pages linking to Wikipedia, so template on Wikipedia, generic stubs, template talk. Trying to go quickly here. There's a lot of stuff. Ravenloft speculation has a page. Minor game bugs had a minor edit categorization page. GDO Hotcat was created. Tells about Hotcat. Trying to go quickly here. It's been a lot of stuff since our last thing. Game revision dates was updated. Administrator's notice board was updated. Carrying template was updated. I'm just looking for mostly t template updates. Go quickly. Templates, uh, wiki pages, that kind of thing. Things that aren't item user or main namespace. Categories for icons. <coughs> user talk COBOL worker. I guess I should show that one. COBOL worker is a, a bot account. So anybody leaving a message there needs to be monitored by administrators. Looks like I already responded, but I want to look at it again anyway. Got a lot of, lot of tabs across the top. You can't see most of them because of the follow up. The, Follow archive with link there, but DR template got some work. The TL template got some work to allow nesting of TL templates. <clears throat> Name Runar got some changes. It's going to all be merged into a different template later. NPC template got some changes. I hadn't noticed that before. Actually, let me go back down for a second and grab one of these. Then pages linking to Wikipedia. Created a new template for die. MW sidebar got some changes. I need to go to the history on that one to show them. Empty section got some changes. Edit got some changes. New producers letters out. Template confused was created. Merge Phantom. So we're back up to where we were there. Didn't really look at much of it because I was wanting to get the whole thing. Category requested merges. Or something I've already shown. Request to Philomania. User Titan updated some stuff to his user page. Uh, Glossary changes using bots, talk page. The edit award got an update to allow bot accounts to use it. I still need to finish working on that sometime, but it's not a, a critical thing. NDA got updated some. 
show the changes on that one. I created a new link for dead, a new template for dead links. Almost to the top. Go a little bit quicker here because I've seen most of this more recently. I remember it. Points of interest, new new redirect to that. I created a support and oppose template, which I already showed you the oppose, but I'll show you what those are. The purpose of that was for a discussion from the POI page. Um, Torolan has stepped down from bureaucrat and administrator due to an extended leave of absence. He is welcome to have that back at any time he, he wishes to come back. He just has to let somebody, a steward, know. Probably me. Template talk slay. There's a discussion there, which I can show you. Almost there. And top. Did some HTML5 compliance stuff on home page. Template talk edit. I, I created a to-do list. All right. Mostly the biggest thing that changed on the sidebar was I added a random page link there. So for, for template die, you can now use die, die sides, modifier, damage type, caster levels. And it will, here are the examples of it. Um, if you use die 3.6, it's a 3d6 for 3 to 18 untyped damage. Oh, yeah. It assumes untyped. Um, maybe it shouldn't assume untyped. I might need to change that later. Um, 3d6.5 is 8 to 23. It's 3d6 plus 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8. Um, 3 times 6 is 18, plus 5 is 23. 3d6, no modifier force damage is 3 to 18 force. 3d6 plus 5 force damage is 8 to 23 force. And then you can do it for every 3 caster levels, or every 2 caster levels, or whatever. That can be added in as well. Use it in a couple of pages. Make things a little bit easier to type. Well, more consistent to type. Um, I'll probably get rid of the, the need for the word damage and just put in force or whatever. We'll see. Might put damage on a switch. So it's by default on, although it can be overridden and turned off with the rare cases where it isn't used. There's always a rare case somewhere that breaks things. Um, Media Wiki sidebar, I need to do the show history on that one. Uh, going back to September 19th. So, recent changes got moved to the bottom and I added random page on the sidebar. Recent changes went from right below FAC to the bottom and random page got added in above it. Empty section. <coughs> Mostly just some Just the width. I stretched it out a little bit. Did some stuff to make the code re easier to read. Next one, template edit. I changed it so that the section will work properly on new pages. Apparently it wasn't working properly before, so I had to modify that to work. Ninth. So let me do this. see I added it so that new pages could be put in and it didn't work properly so I had to go back and fix it. Template confused is just simply not to be confused with whatever you put in there. It's a hat hat note for pages if there's multiple things that use the same type of term that have completely different meanings and can't be merged together. Um, actually
Sure. I hate it when Discord doesn't work right. Well, it's not Discord, it's my mouse wheel. It doesn't scroll properly, and there's no way to deal with that. Um, so, apparently I missed it back in 2011. Sean VW asked about using bots. Um, Corlon respond responded back then, and I totally missed the page. Um, may I make a bot account for using AutoWiki browser or Wiki, PyWiki bot to help with more repetitive edits? Um, back in 2011, um, we actually have, I don't think I actually made a page for it yet, but we do have AutoWiki. Go to T AutoWiki browser. So yeah, I don't have the home page in here yet, but we actually have AutoWiki browser ability to be used here. Um, there's a check page for it. Should probably have a link in here. Um, why is that for the talk page? Ah, yes, because this page is protected, right? No? Should be. I don't know. Um... So it tells all about requesting access for AutoWiki browser and check page, and those are the authorized bot accounts and normal users, and nobody's using it yet. Um, I need to add some more stuff to it and make some modifications, but we do have AutoWiki browser ability to be used now for everybody. Um, it was able to be used before, but there are going to be restrictions on it so that people aren't abusing it. Um, NDA had some changes. Um, Mostly formatting. Um, I used the templates. I created a template for highlight, which didn't actually show up in my list there, um, or I, I missed it. So basically, it just says fan style yellow. What's whatever is in there? I use forums instead of that because forums.ddo doesn't exist anymore. It's now ddo.com slash forums. Um, I added some anchors to be able to link to it quickly for each section. Although it really doesn't need the anchors because it's collapsed by, by default. Or they're all collapsible. So if I go back to just reading it. This is a semi-protected page. Okay, so this was originally posted on this link, which is a dead link. That, that, that link no longer exists and it's no longer archived anywhere. Uh, but the original is here. This is in English, expanded by default. You can also read it in German or in French. I decided to collapse each section so that the page isn't 100 miles long. Um, see, basically, just what it is. And then highlight uses the template highlight. T highlight. Highlighted text. I got to add some documentation for it, but it also offers the ability to pick a highlight color. Um, yellow is just F F F F O O. I'm probably going to add a switch in there lately, later, so that if people use um, yellow, green, red, pink, blue, it'll give a bright highlighter kind of color for that um, instead of just, and then it'll default to whatever they pick if it's not one of those specific keywords. It will be a multicolored highlighter later. That's my mental to do this way. Um, dead link simply takes a link, makes it so that it's not clickable, 
and when you mouse over it, it says this URL gives 404 page not found. If you have an updated archive version of this, please update the link. Thank you. I want to add some more stuff to that later. Um, support is simply a check mark with a support. If you put in a parameter, whatever's in there for the parameter text will show up with um, italic. You can see it used here, support first, support. I think this makes more sense. You can see it's all italic, there's a discussion there. Uh, we'll get back to that, it's on a different page. There's also an opposed template for the same purpose. Uh, template talk slave, there it is right there. Um, somebody requested that there was an IP that requested that's the way that calculate XP and that was back in March and then Koyopa, which is probably the same as the IP, but I can't verify that. Um, suggested it again. Saying that, you know, 25 creatures is actually only 15 additional kills on top of the 10, so it should be 15 for this, which should be that, instead of what it currently was. Um, but we can see that's 15.26.2, because it's 15 for 393, 90. Um, so, crew mentioned that there was a similar discussion time place. They merge both discussions. Which is this one. Then, the YouTube discussion was another one on some administrator talk page or something somewhere, and I didn't feel like spending the three hours to try to dig it out and find it. So, what I did is I created a table total kills and kills. Um, 20 is 15 more than 10. 50 is 25 more than 10. Goal XP, how much you get XP for each. Um, each increment, and then the cumulative XP. You get 165, you've made 399, adding these together. 34, adding those together. You get 44, 49, adding those together. And then I broke it down um, using... Goal XP, total kills. Um, goal XP, incremental kills. Cumulative XP, total kills. Personally, I think it should be cumulative total. Uh, it doesn't make sense. The XP for some of the kills. All of the XP for all the kills. That's what makes the most sense. Um, that's what it breaks down to. Nobody has supported goal XP for total kills, which I believe is what it currently is. That'll probably, it'll definitely change. Um, there are currently four supports for goal for incremental kills. So, part of the XP part of the kills. Uh, although one of the support seems that it's not support, not completely in support of that, so that'll be considered. The only support and penguin support simulative incrementally looks, but I think. If we are interested in people and I can be added to the element that you can you modify, but I would like to be a class of multiple elements. Modify can show you and add. Uh, 
cumulative should be remain regardless. So that's the support. Um. What happens? In your opinion, feel free to visit the template box. Nobody's restricted from all the find that are, you know, logging in or multiple to increase their, their response. Strike out the reasons, ban the sock account, and possibly block the primary account until it's resolved. Template talk edit. Here's a list of things to do for the template. I want to add preview yes by default to make sure pre people are previewing their edits before saving. I want to add an edit intro option to be able to use edit notices, um, one-time edit notices from Link at load, a summary or no summary, or summary and no summary option, so that you can use you know, in that order, so that people can create links using preload templates. No sound. <sighs> it's registering Let me bring it up on my phone See if I can hear Where's my sound? Oh, I'm getting sound on my end. Okay, good. Alrighty, so yeah, these are things that I want to add to the edit template, which creates an edit link somewhere in, on the wiki that people can use to, you know, it'll make it so that people can add edit intros and preloads and good stuff like that. Preloads are, it'll allow you to create a new page or section on a page, and it will automatically put in a template or something to be filled in a form. So that people don't have to copy and paste the whole thing. It'll automatically be there. They just have to type in the, re the parameters. Um, I look forward to getting that done. That's at the top of my list. It's the most recent thing that I was thinking of. Um, store sales. This needs to be updated at some point. Um, I've actually archived a few more. We have archive links now on the sales pages for anything that's archived. How much of a savings it is and what items. If you click on the archive link. So what people can do here is we can actually edit that. It's going to take a while to load up. Statements requiring ver verification is there now. Those are all pages that have things that need to be verified. Uh, Monsters by Quest. See what monsters are in what quests. Currently, 431 subcategories. That's the number of total 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 number of quests in public areas where there are monsters that you can kill. 
or wild wilderness areas. Let's see here. Pages in category. It got some edits. Look at the history on that. Um, September 5th. August 2nd. Ah, so it got some changes, but I had to undo them because they weren't working. I didn't have time to fix it. Bring up what I did. Oh, let me plug it in then. Maybe the battery is running low. I've noticed that when my battery runs low, you get a squealing noise on your end. So template compare pages here. Must be two pages of revisions to compare. To show an example of this, let's go to Wikilink here, which is there's only one use of it so far. So, John Davies created a template um, called JDD Roll. I didn't understand what the purposes were. And then it's so a second I see no real difference looking at the two templates side by side. That's our compare. This title doesn't exist anymore because it was deleted. Um, but it will allow you to put in page one, revision one, page two, revision two. Um, take this out, throw this in there. Compare two revisions. See the changes between the revision and current version. It'll, it'll allow you to compare two pages. So I could compare user technical 13 with user shoemaker. Two completely different pages you can compare. You can see the differences between them. Now, user Shoemaker is just a redirect to user technical 13, so you can compare the code of the two pages. Pretty useful feature. User Talk DDO stream, we're just here. New template for traps and locks, went over that. Typed link. Oh, it's a redirect that takes you to. Um, so pipe link itself is just a re redirect that takes you here. Shown here, this is a pipe link. Kingdom. Parenthesis biology parenthesis pipe will actually give you just kingdom. Um, Wikipedia village pump pipe will give you just village pump. It chops off the this part or that part depending on what it is. A lot of stuff on the help page got this whole this help page got massively updated the other day. I, I, there's even a compare page link there you can compare it to another page. I don't think that's working just yet. It just compares it to itself, currently. Latest diff. See, there was a massive update here. I did a lot of adding of the on Wikipedia template. Um, got rid of the font tags. Created a page for column blue on Wikipedia. Via lines got fixed. Mostly HTML5 stuff. Table border equals one. Cell padding and cell spacing are gone. Um, see, there's a lot of things that got updated here, changed. On, on Wikipedia links, separating edits. I got rid of a space there. Let's 
So this got changed uh, as part of the wiki's update. Updated there a little bit. A lot of stuff. Take a look at it. It's pretty new. Um, info box monster got moved to just monster. Um, there are now habitat 1, habitat 2, habitat 3, habitat 4, as many as you want. Saying 1, 2, 3, 4, as many as you want. Every habitat index has an H node index, but they do not need to be included if there's no note there. Um, so it says uh, habitat, quest, or wilderness er adventure area. Do not link it. Just put the, the raw text for the page in there. H note, note about a specific habitat, omit if not used. Um, saying is things monsters say in the say channel or what you see pop up over their heads. Hi, my name is Bob. Um, that kind of thing. Um, there are 1,491 pages that still need to be checked for habitat since that change. Feel free to go through and update them. So this is not a non-inclusive category because some monster pages have, this is based on things that haven't been edited since uh, 452 Eastern on August 25th. Um, recent changes is the diff for the changes. Um, All right, so I had an optional count parameter. No, I, I noted that that was optional. Um, I also had things, optional parameters for the type, pages, file, subcaps, um, optional parameter sub only, which accepts true or false. I added documentation for that. An example. Um, if there's more than 250 subcategories, it will not be able to process it. It returns an error in those cases. Uh, it was just some stuff that I added. It's currently not working. I have to go back and fix that sometime. Um, I don't need to look at that anymore. Um, not in all inclusive categories. All these pages need to be checked and edited due to recent changes. These, uh, info box monster to monster. Um, I got rid of casual and e-casual because casual and normal values are the same. The habitat stuff was added. See, this stuff was added. Habitats. So, it's if expression. So, this is how it's calculated. If the, the re last revision timestamp of the page is less than or equal to the revision timestamp for the code for the the U code for the revision timestamp of the last edit by the bot to convert everything from habitat to habitat one, then list in this category. So that's how it's done. If it hasn't been edited since then, it needs to be looked at and, and edited. Most of them are just a matter of removing the braces from the habitat one perimeter so that it's just a page name. Um, subtext. Ah, subtext. Okay, so if you're considering filling it out, some good places to be to check would be both Google and DDO forum search pages. Um, I'm going to add to the forums template. I'm going to add a link to be able to search forums, which I think I might have already added. I might not have. I don't know. No, not yet. It's still here. Um, you can help expand it by clicking edit at the top of the page. I should actually change that to use the one used in the Lamania template. Um, forums. I added to do add support for searching, add support for announcements. Um, I'm probably going to dump the announcement support because it doesn't work that way anymore. There's no forums.ddo anymore.
Oh, I can't edit it because it's protected by a cascading protection from home. Okay. Um, deprecated pages and categories, deprecated templates, 44 of them. I got rid of the font size span, made it just big. Got rid of the span for the color and made it red. Modified the include tags a little bit. Stub. Do not use any of these anymore. They've been deprecated, removed. So it's just stub type. And then categorization automatically adds it in here. Basic stubs, category, conditions, crafting, generic, deprecated, item, materials, monster needed, NPC, places, quest, spell, zone. Um, I want to redo this list that shows... How many are in each category? But I haven't gotten there yet. I'll probably redo it with DPL so it can list how many and then list the pages in a separate um, column. Make it sortable. I don't know. We'll see. Um, template enhancement. Pages and category, page name, item, subcats, unique enchantment, effect. So this adds Oh, that was a major project I was working on. I forgot all about that. Okay. So I'll get back to that in a second. That's something I wanted to show off. Oh, I want to show that off too. Balls take over the 11th anniversary. Several and stated during the live stream was hosted by Cordovan. It was a roundtable about Update 32 and Kareneth Crafting with several other devs. Been searching for specifics. No far, no joy. However, was a quasi quote for several and that's not how speculation template works. Purpose of it is if it's not on live speculate if it's not on live servers then it's speculation. Even if a dev EP confirmed and technically if, even if seen on Lamania, it's still speculation until it goes live. There have been things that made it to Lamania that never made it to live and never will. Uh, occasionally, even things that make it to live that are never completed are broken to a point where they're not going to happen. And these things get marked as bugs. I should probably update Lamania to be clear that everything on Lamania is also speculation. I'll do that after work today or tomorrow. I don't remember if I did that or not. I forget, I forget things quite often. Let's see if I did or not. I didn't. <laughs> Oh, I still need to do that. Add it to my to-do list. Uh, let me go like this. Uh, let me put it on my to-do list. because I don't want to do it right now. It's something that's it's going to take time for me to think about. I added it to my to-do list. This template is meant to make it stupid simple to post a link to instructions on using our Discord servers, including how to get to them. Simply put Discord where you want the link to be. Ah, so it's the same thing as um, use, using this produces Discord chat server. Which just creates a link. Um, same. It's just, it's just got the same purpose as IRC. Using this produces IRC chat channel and IRC chat channels respectively. So IRC or IRC S. Same type of thing. It's used for use of talk pages. Um. I should probably put a C also I'll get to that later. The main band from creation matches the following blacklist entry. Please contact any of the list of 13 administrators for assistance. If you want the name one and it doesn't violate our username policy or choose a different name, 
You can also get assistance on our IRC chat channel or our Discord chat server. So that Discord comes before IRC. IRC is take a day, 24 to 48 hours to get a response on IRC. Because people don't watch that that much. Policy under development, things on this page may not be 100% in effect. So some things that I added. Um, spoof or similar name issue, having a username intentionally similar to the username of an existing user may cause confusion. It's not permitted. Um, if the username you would like to have is taken and the user is inactive, please contact an admin. I should make that a, a link to the list of administrators and request to usurp the name instead of creating a similar use name and running with it. Um, any account that's found to be too similar or a spoof of an existing name will be blocked and the user will be required to request an unblock on their top page. Appropriate changes will need to be made, whether it is a rename or usurpation before the account will be unblocked. Um, trollish or offensive. Some names are obviously intended to cause drama or be offensive will be blocked and they will be request need to request a name change on their talk page before un unblocked, computing or misleading. Any sort of min bot or any other similar name are not permitted. If it says um, VIP and they're not a VIP or better, then it won't be admitted. Um, block, these will be request an unblock. Appropriate changes will be needed to be made, including rename or some other change. Bot accounts are permitted as long as they are approved and created by the main account of the user that will be used, will be in control of the bot. Approved. Username policy and will be blocked immediately with all content deleted. I should add some links into there for some stuff, but I haven't gotten to it yet. This is still a work in progress, which I haven't been working on very much lately. Oh, let me add that to my to-do list of things that I should do soon. All right. Um. I want history, I want... I don't have recently closed, do I? Recently closed. Oh, it is recently closed. Wasn't that recent, I guess. History. I can go away. History, I want... That category, okay. On Wikipedia is a new template. Um, I don't need that, it's actually listed here. Category pages linking to Wikipedia, which there are no direct pages, which is good. Actually, I wanna add a pages in category too. Oh, that's not working. Because, actually, I want to add a little bit more to that. I need to fix that. Um, we can see we have category, category talk, DDO, DDO wiki, talk, file, help, item. Links should actually be at the top because it's namespace zero. Media wiki, talk links. Actually, I should sort them all by namespace number. I'm gonna do that. 
right now. Make sure that's going to work. Uh, not right. Um, so you can see I typed in nwb.org forward slash mw colon help colon magic words. That will actually take me to MediaWiki. Magic words. Namespace number. Category Bob. Guessing it needs a full page name to work. Yes. Media Wiki. Media Wiki Talk. File. Help. Item. That one's a hidden cat.
Four more to go. Since our last session, we've also created a user example. Uses examples. There we go. So if I redo this now, Control Shift Reload, they should be reordered by namespace number. Links, talk, template, help, cat. Good. That's what I want. Why is file and media wiki underneath item? I need to look at that one. Item should be 500. Because registering is five. Right. Means I have to go back through and fix all the other ones to pad, pad them with zeros in the front. All right, I'll do that later. Um, but yeah, bad pages to Wikipedia by using this template. So it's page should be linked, display text, or label, lang. If it's on the French Wikipedia, it would be lang equals fr. Project can be Wikipedia, it can be MediaWiki, it can be meta, it can be... Um, I haven't added Wikitech or Test Wiki yet. Actually, that Test Wiki would be Wikipedia Language Test. Um, I have Commons is in there. Project can be Commons. Um, you can use short URL if it's on Wikipedia. It'll do the nwp.org/slash/whatever the page name is instead of the um, n.wikipedia.org/slash/wiki/slash/page. Um, no cat is a no cat option. So I took this out that I created back in 2014 and commented out because it wasn't working properly. Um, support for special my page skin to take you to your selected skins custom JS page. And then I made a few modifications to Agu script for talk archival. And then I moved the support for my page skin, my page skin CSS down here and it now works so current page user page special my page page skin um, skin page yes same things backwards um, if current page is user page plus page skin or current page is special my page plus page skin which is skin plus js or css then set timeout function, reload the page using user page plus skin page, which is slash get skin name plus content model JS or CSS. So that works. Um, I made a minor modification to another thing down here where if extra CSS or extra JS is MW or MediaWiki, then it will import the style sheet. So you could use with JS MW instead of typing out MediaWiki because we do have that pseudo namespace or namespace alias. So I made a fix for that. That's down here. Support for loading JavaScript and cascading style sheets by URL. MW load using, use these things, get 
git param value with CSS, with JS. If it's MW or MediaWiki thing, something dot CSS, then import that. Otherwise, only style sheets from the MediaWiki namespace are allowed. Console error invalid with CSS value. <clears throat> I might add some more stuff to that later. Um, category files with extension JPEG needing to be moved to JPEG. I'm going to write a script for that. So don't work on this project. I, I want to make a JavaScript for it. I have a whole bunch of notes there for creating the JavaScript. Um, basically, they're just pages that are misnamed JPEG instead of JPG. So don't worry about that. Leave that category alone. Hotcat is a redirect to Hotcat on Wikipedia. That doesn't help much. Um, so Kenneth Crafting Tables is something new. Something with an unsigned post. I'll have to go back and figure out who did that. Basically, it was a caching issue. Template NPC. Crafting vendor. Receives quests. So it's just some minor stuff there. Preferences. I'll get back to that in a minute. Monster pages. Ah. Okay. So, let's look at our new gadgets first. Oh, right, DDO store sales. I almost forgot about that. Let's scroll down. So, it uses a template now. It's history row. Date, what was thing, and then archived. So, from September 1st, if we look at our calendar, we've got September 1st, September 8th. 15th and 22nd. So there should be three more rows. So one, two, three rows. And we have September. Oh, I didn't want that. Let's get just this. September, September, September. This one is going to be eight, 15, 21. Then I'm going to copy this much. Actually, no, I'm just going to copy this much. Close that, close that, close that. So on September 3rd at 11.30 p.m., I thought this was already loaded. This is what it looked like. So there's an archive of what the page looked like for the sales, the bonus points, bonus days. Free sample of the week it was more slay. And what the sales were, shared bank, character banks, like storage, what whatnot. So we go over here and click on 40 captures. We'll see that there was also a capture on. Oh, we needed no capture. Um, copy and paste. I don't know why this one captured already. I thought I had done it. I've been trying to do it once a week, but apparently I've been sucking. Copy those in there. All right. So the only one that we have is from September 10th, which will cover the date of the 8th. We'll take a look at this one. So we don't have any information on that. Don't have any information on that, but we do have the 8th. Actually, we will have this one in a minute. I'm archiving it right now. Okay, so for the 8th, I want this link. This is what, what it was on the 8th. That gets copied in there. These can go back in and filled out later as long as they're archived. That's going to take a minute to work. So on the 10th, this is what it looked like. Elixir of Angels to your drink up. That one didn't work. Um, 
and it wasn't captured again after they fixed it on Monday. Um, but you can see augments, cosmetics, that kind of thing were in there. I'm actually doing an archive right now on my other ta my other screen. So we'll have today's archive as well. I'm going to add that in before I close it. Uh, monster pages. So let's work on one of these. Acolyte of Flame Skeleton. See that it looks all broken here. Click on Edit. So if there is no page name in image, it's subst page name dot jpg should be the image you can see habitat one we're just going to delete this um, extra space there line it up there's no cr information in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to update this casual doesn't need to be there Normal, there's no no value, no value, no value. And then I'm going to take this CR template and move it up to CR. And I'm going to delete this extra stuff. That's what it should look like. So just Inferno of the Damned in Habitat 1. XP colors, normal hard elite. Um, don't forget my extra bracket there. Um, if there are multiple habitats, you would do Habitat 2, the name. Habitat 3, the name. If there was a specific thing, so there's our, our Wayback Machine archive link for that. I'll save that. And now there's an archive link for this. Nothing there archived. So, see, I can probably deduce what it is, although I'll probably have to change the background color for that row. Um, we'll see. I might do alternating back row colors anyway. A lot of archives. Some of them are missing. But trying to archive every week. So this is what this should look like. Why slave lords crafting tables are built with templates? Because that's what people know how to do. Um, at some point, when I have time, I've been extremely busy working on all these other projects, monsters and archiving and whatnot. Um, sometime when I'm not quite as busy, um, I intend on going through all of those tables and templates and replacing them with GPL queries so that they are automatically updated um, but for now they're just templates with tables they're not going to be even tables as, at, at some point they're going to be just DPL queries that are going to pull all the information from elsewhere from the actual item pages themselves the effect pages but there's a lot of work to build the back end for that so it's going to wait. So monster pages, I just put in a summary of habitat or habitats or sayings or whatever. So this is what it looks like now. There's still no picture, but that's fine. It creates a link in special wanted images so that people know that we need to upload an acolyte of flame skeleton. Um, actually, let me open that in a new tab. I'm going to go back here to the t the other thing because I want to sh do a couple more. So Acolyte of Flame. So if I go to Special Wanted Files, you'll see that some of these are struck out. They're false positives. Let's remove the false positives. There's 154 total. We can get rid of the false positives. Now there's 97. 
you'll see that uh, should be near the bottom. Ring generic. Where's the skeleton? Acolyte of flame skeleton. It might not create it. Wait a minute. Does it not create it? Has to create it. If not, then I need to do some work to figure that out. Echo. Wow. Doesn't. All right, so I'll need to adjust the template. I want them in there. I will adjust the template so that they will show up here. Actually, I wonder if it's one of the false positive that I just removed. Let me refresh the page. Scrolling down works, but not scrolling up. There we go, control alt up. That's a pain, but it works. All right. It used the legendary materials icon for both heroic and legendary stuff. With everything in the templates, there is no easy way for non-template guru to edit it, unless such things are irrelevant now. Such things will become irrelevant. Um, most of it is that it's just not completed yet. Um, they're still working on it, so give them time. Um, I'll probably come in in two to four weeks and take a look at it. I haven't even looked at those pages, um, to be honest. So in two to four weeks, I will come in and take a look at it and... Um, I will go through and make any needed changes to the existing as it is now. Um, these are redirects I need to fix. Oh, so I should just retarget it to the redirect location and then redirect? Hmm. Retarget it. Um, yeah, so I will go through and I will update any icons or things like that, make it so that it's current, and then I'll go through and work on the backend stuff to be able to just eliminate it altogether and do the DPL. So yeah, I need to fix that as well. So let's see if I can find one that's on multiple pages. Baby Glass Spider. I know that's on multiple pages. So you can see that looks badly broken. There's re some repeating going on. There's all kinds of stuff. It's doubled there. There's all kinds of broken CR stuff, and it looks horrible. Horrible, I say. So let's go in and edit that one. I've only got a few minutes left because I actually need to cut the stream a couple minutes short to go to my other job. Um, so let's do this quickly. What I've been doing is over here in Notepad, I have a copy and paste for Habitat. It's Habitat. Well, I'll show you on the other page. Um, so I go like this and I go habitat, substitute, var defined echo, habitat, subst, expression, subs, var, habitat, zero, plus one, blah, 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 equals this. Um, what I will do is... On the YouTube archive for the video for this episode, I will 
paste that code along with a couple other snippets of code. Um, if there are multiple habitats, it's much easier to simply use that code and go through each one. Like so, you can see I'm using exactly the same code for each habitat. That actually automatically adds and updates the numbers so they don't have to manually be done. This one has a CR that's got something useful in it. So we'll move this up to CR before I delete it. Actually, I'm going to copy this up there as well. One backspace delete. So all I am doing Delete is five there as well. Normal is one there as well. As I'm replacing all of the extra CR information that isn't relevant because it's in the CR section. All right, so All right, so this is going to be added in here. It's going to be Tomb of the Forbidden. Delete. And then what I'm going to do is You can see that I have H note here as well. I'm going to copy this now. And this is actually going to be an H note habitat. So it's going to take the habitat of the number, number for the habitat or whatever is right above it. Is just looks strange before any person can create a page. The other one can gather data or something. I'm not the boss of the wiki. I'm just. A coordinator um, what you can do is if it looks too complicated for you to make changes to it um, go to the talk page and create a new section and add a comment with whatever information that you find that you want to add to the page say please add this information or please change this um, make a note on the talk page about anything that you think is too complicated that you want to see changed and somebody will either help you change it or will change it for you. Um, it's always useful to make a note if you want to change it yourself, if you just need help doing it, or if you want somebody just to do it and get it over with, um, add a note for that as well. Um, and somebody will respond and help you with your specific request. Um, so this is going to be habitats because I updated most of them. So what I'm going to do is I go like this, right? Got baby glass spider JPEG, all of this good stuff in here. And then a bunch of code, which I'm going to paste into the um, YouTube video for the page so that people can copy and paste it, make it much easier on yourself. Um, I'll show you what that code does. I'm going to do show changes. And you'll see that it shows up as Habitat 1, Habitat 2, Habitat 3, Habitat 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can see that when we get to 10, the rescue, it's an extra digit. So what I usually do is I go to whatever one, it double increments double digit, Habitat 10, for example, which, it, which is the rescue. And I'll go like this, delete, 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 delete. 
and I will get rid of an extra space. That way they'll line up when it saves. Um, and then you can go show preview again, or show changes. And you'll see that they line up now. So now when we save the page, it'll show up as habitats. It lists the habitats. You can see the H note puts in an M dash with any quest with glass spiders and high am matriarchs. So that should probably be updated to list the specific quests. Hmm, that's a note for something else. I might need to add that, find out more about that and update it. But you can see now it's in Monsters and Caverns of Coromor, Monsters and Enter in the Gate Chamber, Monsters in Need of Supply. It's in all of these categories. When I update the quest page, absolutely, everything is relevant. So make a note on the talk page and it will be addressed. I guarantee it. So it's easier to read here. Um, monsters by quest, monsters and all of these things. So when I do the quest template and in the rescue, the template expands and does its DPL query, it'll check all of the pages and monsters in the rescue. And then it will add, it'll list them all. It'll say what their CRs are. It might add attacks or special qualities. Um, alignment, um, it'll mention if it's in the monster manual or not, um, it'll give type race and sub race in some aspect. Um, I don't know what it's going to for be formatted like and look like yet, but those are things that are all going to be included in the quest pages in a table at the bottom for monsters. I, I, I very much wanted to expand that. Um, so I want to go back to here. And I want to see if I can find one more that talks. So let me pull up a couple of these bosses. Um, Brother Salso, let's bring him up as well. That's got text, but it's not the kind of text for that. That's not what I want. There we go, Boss Jiddick. All right, so here's the last parameter that we can use that's got multiples. I'm actually going to edit this in a new tab so that you can compare them after. Um, scroll down, boss. So what we're going to do is we got this here. We get rid of the brace, braces. It's got a note that he's the final boss. So I'm going to just, it's only one. So I'm just going to manually add it. Note, final boss. And then I'm going to add saying one. It's only one. So I'm just going to do it manually. And I'm going to take this little piece up here and move it down to saying one. Now I can delete this stuff up at the top. It's just the monster template. Casual goes away. Hard question mark goes away. Habitat. So I do a show preview. This is what it looks like. Um, so you can see what it's going to look like. Vent stream, final boss. Saying one, you, it actually adds it under the image. You think you are powerful, you die. Tunnel worms attack. Um, there is also a snippet of code to repeat that one, which I will also put in the video. It's the same thing as habitat, only it's saying using a var defined echo of saying and a var of saying. Um, so we can take this and replace it with that. Um, Actually, I'm going to do all three just as a demonstration. You, if it's only one, you can certainly just type it in. Um, that goes there. And habitat goes there. So habitat, H note saying H note should you should only use this code for H note if you're using the code for habitat. Because the, the var habitat here is based on what it's defined as here. Okay, so if it's not defined, it will not show up. And it will show up as zero, which will cause an error message. Or at least it should cause an error message. I should actually force an error message. Um, but those are the codes. Habitat, H note saying. I'm also debating adding some CRs. CR normal, CR hard, CR elite, CR e normal, CR e hard, CR e 
E Elite. But I haven't gotten there yet. And I might not do that. I might just have it take this. Get rid of the XP colors. Just list the CRs. And then have it break it down. Automatically in the template. So just do this portion of it. And have it the template taken apart. But I haven't thought about that yet really. I want to fix the first part first. So we save page. You can I'll show you that in a second. So you, you can compare them. It goes from you think you are powerful listing all the stuff to nice and clean and the think you are powerful goes down underneath the image now. Okay. Okay, so now what I want to do is this little tab over here that used to include move, um, purge, or refresh, or whatever it was called. Um, it used to include um, delete for some people if they had that um, if they had that gadget. Um, I need to add delete back in there. I haven't done it yet. It's going to be something that I, is on my list of things to add. Now it does page logs. You can get all logs, deletion logs, move log, protection log. It's bold with three dots, which means it's got a submenu. Um, you can edit the intro, which is section zero. Um, the latest diff, which is what we're going to look at. There's the move link. There's your purge and a compare, which when you click on compare in the future, will actually pop up a little box asking... Um, what page you want to compare it with and then you can type in a page and hit OK and it will bring up the compares. Um, I just want latest diff right now. So this is the last edit, the one that we just made. So you think you are powerful, die. You can see what we changed. You can see that all those code sections are Habitat 1, HNote 1, saying 1 now because it automatically applied the numbers. Um, if you go to a user page, There'll be two of these little tabs. The first one will be the page, like we had. I'm actually looking to figure out how to add the word page next to the arrow. I know it can be done, I just haven't figured it out yet. There's also a section for user pages. User pages are a special, are a special feature. Um, they also have user logs, all logs, move log, things that the user have done. Um, change rights allows administrators to change the user rights. Check contributions, allows administrators to check deleted contributions, email user, um, get a list of their uploads, figure out their user groups, and user right changes. User rights, logs, that's a log. So those are the things that have changed in the user log. All right, so I should probably rename some of those to make it clearer. Um, it's a great feature. So let's go to preferences here, gadget tab, user interface, code anchors, we've had forever, creates an anchor point on JS and CSS pages, code backlinks, JS and CSS pages do not automatically create links. So when things are wrapped in brackets like other pages, the script adds other useful links as well. So it'll turn brackets into an actual link that you can click. It'll also add a, an edit and a what links here link to the end in brackets. I can show you what that looks like. Um, Recent changes, let's find .jss. Uh, let's go to this and appearance. I do have a custom JavaScript. I don't have a custom, custom JavaScript, how about that one? All right, so you can see that this is in brackets. MW gadget delete was a temp, temp thing. You can see we got an edit and a what links here. So that's Code backlinks adds this and these. You can see that it's all through at every place that there's a link in brackets. It makes the brackets bold. It makes this a clickable link to whatever is in the brackets. And there's actually, if there's a piped link, it'll actually put the pipe in whatever's bold at the end. But that's a great thing. Code anchors um, makes it so that you can put in, see how it's up in the, bar up here it's got the pound sign and then some text that takes you to a section 
It'll do the same thing on JSN thing pages. Email links is on by default. It's a gadget that will show links to special email user for anything using template user if the user has an email enabled. Um, I don't know if Vector Menu does that automatically or not. I'll have to check on that. Xlink is external links and new tabs or windows. PP indicators, gadget shows a die icon, which doesn't show on this page because it doesn't run on preferences, but you can see it on the home page. It's got the red die, puts this up here, full protection enabled. Um, it adds those to make it quick to see what's protected and how it's protected. List styles makes links, uh, makes bullet lists into numbered lists. Um, NS shortener shortens visible links to various namespaces. For example, user becomes U and user talks becomes UT. Anything that has a lowercase t is a talk. I just like condensing things and making it shorter. Remove access keys disables access keys. Um, keyboard shortcuts. Search focus focuses the cursor in the shirts bar on the main loading page. Um, special pages. We've seen that many times. Um, it adds the counts for everything and adds some of the bonus special pages scripts, like the double redirects where you can just click the fix button and it'll fix it automatically. Uh, watch list changes bold, makes things on recent changes page show up as bold if they're on your watch list and you haven't, and you haven't checked it yet. Edit tools, hotcat, new edit section, and wicked. Um, Hotcat, I like. New edit section just replaces the new section with plus, condenses. Wicked, I'm not going to use because it's complicated for new users, so I don't want to use it on this account. Um, I don't use it on my other account either because, well, I toggle it on and off. And I know it's got some back-end bugs, so I yeah, just go without it. Um, unwatch is something in test phase that doesn't work yet exactly. Well, it does, so I'll actually add that. So I'm going to save those. Vector menu is what I showed you. Add page and user drop down menus to the toolbar with links to common tasks and logs based on more menu from Wikipedia. Unwatch. Watches or unwatches a page with a click. Okay, so if we pick a random page. So the first part works. You see how it's got this star? That's the star to watch. add a page to your watch list. You click on it, it turns blue, it's watched. However, if you don't reload the page and you click on it again, it does nothing. It's broken. I haven't figured out how to fix that yet. So what I've got to do is reload the page, and you can see it's watched, and I can click on it once and it will unwatch it. I need to figure out how to toggle it on and off without having to reload the page. Hmm. I might just automatically have it reload the page when you click on it. I don't know, we'll see. Actually, I think that is the way to go. Um, so that's that. And now I'm already late for work, so... <laughs> I told my boss I'd probably be 15 minutes late anyway. So, we did some stuff today. Some recent changes. You guys know how to work. Start working on monster pages. Um, next week we'll do enchantment pages, enhancement pages. I have some things that I've done to that system that needs a lot of work. Um, let's hide my edits and see if anybody else has edited in the time that I've been on since eight o'clock. Well, a couple. Me stuff. Um, Aldrilon is back. Has done a couple of these pages. Some user accounts were created. I might go through and ban a bunch of those, but I don't know. We'll see. Sleeper accounts. Six enhancements is something I need to take care of, get rid of, but I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm already late. So everybody. Um, that concludes this episode of DDO Wiki Talk. Um, tune in next week. I will be doing an enchantment category thing. Um, I will also be giving out a 500 turbine point code next week. Um, I didn't expect there to be a lot of viewers, and I didn't want to give it a, give one away this week without many viewers. So let everybody know that we're back for at least a few more weeks, 
and that I will start giving out turbine point codes again next week. So tune in for a code. Make my big big mug show up. Make my splash screen show up. Alrighty, everybody have a great week. I will see you Thursday on Lotro stream for Shoemaker streams Lotro. I will see you Sunday night for Shoe Cobbles A. Insert blank here. Insert build here. And next week is Draw Rogue on um, this weekend. Um, and then I'll see you next Tuesday where I'll be giving out a 500 point turbine code on DDO Wiki Talk. Have a great week, everyone. Catch you later.